Tuesday, March 29th marks a day that not one but two previous Guitar Hero 3 tracks comes over to Rock Band. One band and one track was said never to make it. What do we think about that? I'll tell you what I think about that, what maybe Harmonix is doing, and where this is all going here on this episode of Cena's Corner. Cena's Corner. World's number one rhythm game reviewer. What's up guys? Alright, if you have been keeping your ear to the grindstone, if you've been following harmonics either on rockband.com or even on Twitter, then you would know that a blockbuster announcement as far as I was concerned was made last week or the end of the week. Stated that Dragon Force Through the Fire and Flames will be featured in Rock Band 3 along with Pro Mode for guitar and drums and bass on Tuesday, March the 29th. Now let's talk about why this is so significant and important. First of all, let me just say that this is not only the first one, the first track or one track that's coming, but we're getting two X Guitar Hero 3 tracks. We're getting, and I shouldn't say X because it's in the game, so we're getting two Guitar Hero 3 tracks. We're getting Santana's Black Magic Woman that was featured in Guitar Hero 3, and we're getting Through the Fire and Flames by Dragon Force that was also featured as a bonus track at the very end of Guitar Hero 3. You had to play through the whole entire game to get through to Through the Fire and Flames in Guitar Hero 3, if you remember. Now, also, I know Blood, Sweat, and Tears and Jefferson Airplane, I'm not trying to take anything away from them because they are also getting released on the 29th, but the big news is Dragon Force. Not only are we getting one track, which is Through the Fire and Flames, we're getting two, which the second will be Operation Ground and Pound. So let me tell you what I think about this. First of all, if we want to roll the clock backwards by Rock Band 1 Rock Band 2, uh, there was an interview that was done. I can't remember it's been that long ago, but I know someone said as would they bring things like Through the Fire and Flames to Rock Band, and back then there was some resistance. Okay, it was pretty much said that they were looking to preserve music, that they didn't just want to throw tracks in the game that was quote-unquote hard or impossible to do, um, and they were leaving that more to a gameplay type situation. So my question that I asked to my friends over uh, where I'm newly on the staff at Video Game Writers is, does this make Harmonics look hypocritical? Now, I agree with them. No, I don't think that it does because of the fact of this. They are going to preserve the music in this still. Guitar Hero 3, and I know I'm, people are going to hate me for this, but let's just face the fact. I'm no, it's no secret I've said this before. They jacked up the charting on that because they wanted the song to be hard. And they wanted it to be impossible. And they really wanted it to be a challenge. And they really wanted nobody to ever full combo this song. And for those who don't know what FC full combo means, that means to get 100% notes hit without missing or breaking the four times a multiplier that you get. Okay, uh, we do know that there's been a couple of people that has put this song through the test, and uh, Chris Kike is one of them. Danny Johnson, better known as Guitar Hero Phenom, is the current world record holder for that song, which I believe he holds not one, but seven Guinness Book Records for that tune. Okay, but here's the deal. Charting a Guitar Hero 3, as far as I'm concerned, I don't like it. I've always stated that. The hammer-ons and pull-offs are sloppily done. Um, sometimes you can get a whole one to two or three seconds on a pull-off before it's even there. I'm not taking away anything from anybody who's got Guinness records, things like that. But the fact of the matter is, if you could learn the timing of the hammer-ons and pull-offs of that and know that you had a one second or two second here, it was an easier song than what is going to be a Rock Band 3 that I'm thinking. I think the charting on this, and this song is going to be exquisite now let's just talk about my guitar skills for a minute i couldn't get past this song on guitar hero 3 other than medium i couldn't go hard and i am a hard guitarist and there's a lot of other songs i can play on expert but i couldn't even get past the song on hard on guitar hero i'm not really expecting to be able to get past it on hard either on rock band 3 knowing that they're charting and the way it's going to go there's even songs in rock band 3 that's a little bit more challenging now on hard um, and on Expert even, than they were in Rock Band 2. So I think that this is a good thing that Harmonix is doing. I think they're trying to embrace and reach out to the Guitar Hero crowd, and by pumping this song or this band into the game, I think you're going to start seeing more Guitar Hero fans come around. 
I also believe that this is not the first or the second since we have Santana coming as well song you're going to see off of the old Guitar Hero collection. Now there's still rumors going around that their Activision is saying they're going to come back in 2012 and so on and so forth. But up until that time since they called it quits, I think Harmonix is free to do whatever it is they wish to do. So if they want to bring all the collections over, they can. We've already got Beast in the Harlem and some other ones that came on Rock Band 3. So I think this is just the beginning of all the songs of Guitar Hero coming over. But here's the question that you have to ask. And this is for anyone, no matter if you're a Rock Band fanboy, no matter if you are a Guitar Hero fanboy, or if you're just like me. You just give the straight facts, no fanboyism. You just call it down the middle. You have to ask yourself this question. If Rock Band is able to bring all these songs in from Guitar Hero 3, and they're able to feed the Guitar Hero public through the Fire and Flames and more double pedal tracks and more hard guitar tracks, and give them something extra, which is promote on that, does Activision stand a chance if they do decide to come back in 2012? Folks, 12 months is a long time to leave your fan base hanging and give them nothing. You can spit out all the little extra DLC that you wish, but that is not going to help you any when you have a full-fledged operational working franchise like Rock Band is just going to pump these songs out to your, to your public or to your community and say, come on over to the other side. Take a look at what you said was so bad before. I guarantee you, it ain't as bad as you may think. So ask yourself that question. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think that this is damaging Activision if Harmonix brings all these songs over and with them leaving, saying they're quit, but saying they're going to come back? Let's just hypothetically give it to them. Let's just say for the sake of this question that they're going to come back in 2012. Does it hurt them to come back in 2012 if Harmonix has already stolen all of the best tracks from Guitar Hero and fed it out to the Guitar Hero public? Will there even be a reason for Activision to bring Guitar Hero back. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Again, guys, September 20, or I'm sorry, September, March 29th, which is tomorrow if you're watching this video on Monday, Dragon Force does make its way to the Rock Band community. You're gonna get through the Fire Flames, Operation Ground and Pound, as well as another Guitar Hero 3 track, which is Black Magic Woman by Santana. You're also gonna get a track uh, by Jefferson Airplane and also by blood, sweat, and tears. All right, guys, so that's it for me. So you know how to get a hold of me, CenaCenasCorner.com. My website is CenaCorner.com. Twitter, Cena5401. And make sure you go to the Facebook link down below and like the Cena's Corner page. So the next time I say peace, love, keep rocking out, and I'm going to catch you guys the next time.